So this is part two of uh, my trip to the used bookstore. I think anytime you go to a used bookstore, you should buy some books that look fun, even if you can't think of a practical way to use them. Like this book, The Beach Bum's Guide to the Jersey Shoreline. I don't know if I'll ever get to the Jersey Shoreline, but if I do, I will know how to identify the red-breasted merganser because of this book that I bought. Also, day hikes in the Santa Fe area. I don't live anywhere near Santa Fe. I don't plan to ever go to Santa Fe, but if I do, I will be able to take the Lake Catherine hike because of my book. Also, recombinant DNA, a short course. I don't know if you can really study DNA as a short course, but if I ever have time, I will. Also, this one looked really interesting. The wound, wound closure manual. The wound closure manual. If you want to wound yourself up, uh, but this uh, this is very interesting because it says resterilization service discontinued November 1987. So this is the most up to date wound closure manual you can get. Also, more rock country and backward masking unmasked. I don't know if it should be more rock and country backward masking unmasked, but apparently there are some songs that if you listen to them backward, they have secret messages. In fact, uh, Motley Crue's album Shout at the Devil apparently says, this album may contain backward messages. I'm thinking about adding that to my next novel. This novel may contain backward messages, if read backwards and played at a weird speed. The Annals of the New York, Academy of Sciences, 1959, volume 75, The Uterus. Not sure when I'll have time to crack this book open, but I can only imagine it's going to be very enlightening. This one, I don't really know what that title is supposed to mean, but Favorite Ways with Chicken, Turkey, Duck, and Game Birds, I've got you covered. And finally, my favorite from this trip to the used bookstore was Earthworm Feeds and Feeding, in which you learn many things on how to prevent or cure mites, sauerkraut, acid, and nematodes, also properly use antibiotic wonder drugs, in quotes, and double the size of worms quickly. So I'll just read you a little bit out of um, this wonderful volume from the introduction uh, here. Uh, actually, the preface says, in the pages that follow, I've tried to point out not point out, but point up. A few of the worst pitfalls that lie in wait for the unwary and sometimes the experienced and properly suspicious earthworm grower. I don't know why you would be a suspicious earthworm grower, but this book is the one to read if you are. There are no hard and fast rules to follow in the worm business, at least none that I have been able to classify and enumerate. Each situation must be met with the information, experience, and materials at hand. Follow the rules and guides that have been classified. Give your problem some thought. Do not depend on some distant grower to solve your problems for you. Learn to be independent. Worm growers are individualists. Be one yourself. If a situation gives you more trouble than you, can, than you think it should, outline it for me and I will do what I can with information and encouragement. One thing. Please do not expect me to outline the contents of the books for your guidance. Read them. And when you write, please send a stamp or a stamped envelope. You would be surprised at the number of letters that come to my office with no name, no return address, and especially no zip code number. I'm sure I would be surprised by the number of letters that the author receives. He says, usually we do not bother to answer the latter at all. Good luck, good sales, and good fishing.